Hey everybody, it's Jonathan Senor Smoke from Curto's Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York. I bid you welcome on this beautiful day in early May 2020. Um, and what I want to do today is another post in my continuing series where I take an outdoor kitchen that we are working on or have been working on and um, analyze it for you and kind of go over some of the uh, decisions that have been made um, and what I think what I think will happen is that this will uh, enable you to if you're considering one of these projects to make <clears throat> the proper decisions make your life easier um, at least that's what we hope and that's what we've heard from people so anyway we have a, uh, a project um, this one is based in Bronxville okay here in uh, lower Westchester County and um, the homeowner uh, did not want to go completely crazy with the grill equipment so we were not going to go high high end you know we're not doing any links not doing any alfresco uh, twin eagle etc so the the actual products that were going to be used and we were we were somewhat limited to a footprint of nine feet give or take in a straight line and they wanted to do a uh, a blaze 34 inch blaze pro grill head with door and drawers um, underneath it access door and storage there was going to be refrigeration so they opted to go with the blaze refrigerator uh, the one approved for outdoor use and um, there was going to be a sink with an access door underneath it um, trash dual trash draw and then there was a desire to have a pizza oven so working with a nine foot footprint okay knowing that you have on the countertop a 34 inch grill uh, a sink and now a pizza oven that's going to measure 30 inches in width right off the bat we are compromised in terms of countertop space and i kept on telling the um the homeowner that countertop space is so so paramount when you put these islands together because the uh, the biggest complaint or you know i would have should have could have um post-mortem is that they people think that they didn't you know give themselves enough countertop space so i always try to drive that home to people and focus on that when we're doing these projects um the other thing which became a bit of a uh, an issue is that the pizza oven that they wanted was they were going for an aesthetic and they wanted it built in and i'm i'm going on record right now and i've said it to many people so far this year or last year is that i am not a proponent of a built-in pizza oven there's two reasons why number one um it's going to be more expensive to build it in um so that's neither here nor there but the other thing is that what happens is it's built in you now lose flexibility and i am all about flexibility and i understand that the look of having a pizza oven might be something incredibly um, appealing at this point of the game but making pizza okay that's going to be the main activity done with this oven and the reason I say that is because there's a lot more that you can cook in a pizza oven than a pizza oven, than pizza. Um, in particular, cast iron skillet cooking is next level on it. But when you build these things in, what happens? You are stuck. Okay? It takes up a lot of room, and you are stuck with it. And I just have spoken to numerous people over the years that have said to me, you know, I built the pizza oven and I love the way it looked, but in hindsight, we don't make pizza as much as we used to. And now what happens? You have a massive thing taking up valuable real estate on your countertop. So I am absolutely full on a proponent for doing a countertop one free, you know, that you can move um, if need be. You could take it off, put it to another part of the counter. You could take it off and put it on a cart. So that is what I'm driving home. And it took several conversations with this homeowner to finally make them realize that was the best decision so i want to take a um uh, we could take a look here at the first rendering um of this uh this was a straight line at about nine plus feet with the pizza oven there and as you can see here there's too much um there's, there's just not enough room for the countertop so what we did is we were able to buy a little bit of real estate and bend the island make it into an l so with that return which I believe the return is about it's about four feet eight inches. Okay, um, we decided to put the pizza oven on an elevated platform, 
and then put the trash straw underneath it, thus freeing up more space on the straight run. Then what the owner decided to do is build an arch underneath it that would store wood because this is not a gas burning oven, this is a wood burning oven. And the arch simply is an aesthetic, it looks awesome. Uh, so that's where we were. Um, so now you're talking about with the L, um, 10 feet across, 4.8 uh, going out from the L, uh, maintaining the same amount of gear. And as we started to develop price quotes, um, he just, I mean, he just got to a point where the budget was getting at a level that he wasn't comfortable with. So we had to make some, um, some edits to this. And what we ended up doing, I thought, was a great, um, I don't want to call it a compromise, but a, it was a great solution. What we ended up doing was getting rid of the L, going straight. So now instead of the nine feet, we're at ten and a half feet. We put another foot and a half. We got rid of the sink. Okay, so now there's a massive amount of counter space um, on the island. And what he's doing is he's maintaining the pizza oven which in a freestanding uh, capability, countertop I should say. So now the pizza oven will be on the left if you're looking at it. Then you have the 34 inch grill. Then you have all countertop space. And I believe that we were going to start the grill on the left side, 48 inches from the end. So there is ample room. There's like four feet of countertop space, three and a half, four feet. So tons of room. Now if he found that the pizza oven was getting cumbersome on the left hand side and didn't want it over there anymore, he could just pick it up and move it over to the right side. Or what he could do eventually is pick up the pizza oven and put it on a cart or a stand and then he has, as I said, tons and tons of counter space. So um, this is what we did and it's going to work. It's going to create flow. There's no cramping or crowding is ready to rock and roll they're using uh, El Dorado lead stone for the uh, veneer a uh, thick blue stone countertop to match the patio that it's going on this is an ROF island solution that we'll be building and it's gonna pop right there on the existing patio rock and roll we're done so um, it's simple yet effective and then shows that you do not need to spend a fortune to get an incredibly functional and beautiful outdoor kitchen. Um, you don't, I mean, there's a, there's a minimal amount of utilities having to be pulled to this. I mean, there's no water going to anymore. That's, that's you know, at one point there was a consideration of an ice maker. No, 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 no. There's no water going to it. You've got his, he's got his electric there already. He already has his natural gas stub. He's off to the races. So we're very excited to see this come um, to completion. Folks, if you're considering doing an outdoor project, whether it's simply getting a new grill, upgrading your grill, getting a smoker, or it's something on a much larger scale, it's an outdoor living project, you can come to Curto's Ring of Fire and um, we cover all the bases, turnkey solution, and there's nobody else that's going to be able to say that, certainly in Westchester County. So folks, again, Jonathan at Curto's.com, come visit, call, email, we're here to help. Thank you very much.